Hello and welcome to Geek Chit Chat. Today we're going to talk about one of the coolest uh, apps out there called Showbox for watching movies. Um, the only problem with this app is that it is only available for uh, the Android uh, operating system. So if you don't have an Android device, you can't really use this program. So we're going to show you today how to run this on a PC. So to download Showbox on a PC, basically what you need to do is use an emulator to emulate uh, the Android operating system. The Android uh, emulator that we uh, really like and is really awesome is called Mimu. Um, so to get that, you just go to mimuplay.com um, and right here uh, you can click on download and download this emulator. Uh, we're not going to show you how to install that uh, in this video, but basically just run through the install um, and then you'll be able to open up Mimu and uh, we'll show you what that looks like here in just a little bit. So then also um, you're going to need the Showbox uh, APK. So to get to that, um, basically what we can do is just Google Showbox APK. Um, and then it's going to return uh, this website right here, showboxappdownload.com. So we'll click on that. And then basically you can come down here and you can download the app right here. So then if you scroll down, uh, this is an ad, this is an ad. So where you want to click is right here where it says download showbox.apk. So once you do that, it'll pop up down here and I've already put it on my desktop. But basically what you want to do just to make sure you downloaded the right one and you didn't get some sort of virus is open up uh, virus total, uh, which is a website where you can scan any file that you want and then just drag the file to the website and what it'll do is it'll go ahead and scan that file with a whole bunch of different uh, detection engines so basically you can look here and they all came back clean so we know we got a clean file with no viruses so that's really important so make sure you do that so that you're not downloading and infecting your system with some sort of virus so now we have Mimu downloaded and we have the Showbox APK so that's basically what we need to get started um, so um, you're going to go ahead and install the Mimu application, but once you do, you'll be able to launch it like we're going to do here. This takes us a few minutes to load. You can see down here there is a bar going across, progress bar. Okay. So basically, you'll, you'll, once you get it set up, uh, you'll have a screen like this where um, you can basically emulate uh, a tablet device or a, a phone device or something that's uh, running Android. Um, so you can actually go into the Play Store and download uh, different uh, apps. Um, the uh, Showbox app is not in there though, so that's why we downloaded the APK. So basically, um, the... I have another app called All Screen, which allows me to stream my screen to uh, my Roku. So that's uh, why I have that app. So that I did get from the Play Store. So something like that might come in handy for streaming uh, the Showbox app to another device. Uh, so that's really cool. So okay. So to install the uh, to make to do the install, basically what we're going to do is we're going to click on this APK, uh, and you have to um, have the location. Uh, of this file um, and actually you have to put it uh, one of the things I forgot is you have to put it somewhere uh, on your PC a specific location that the uh, Mimu emulator can access so I created this folder let me show you where it's at here um, basically it's in C uh, users and then your username and then the music folder and then Mimu music and then I put it in there so then when I uh, basically come over here and click on this APK I'm able to put that location in here and pick up the uh, APK file to install so it's installing right now and you can see here it popped up so now we can go ahead and open the Showbox 
app in the emulator. And then up here, we can go ahead and click on different options. So we can see that there's different movies available. Um, we can make this bigger. Um, it only still only shows you know as wide as the screen. But let's go ahead and uh, click on a movie. Um, I noticed that okay, so here's an error, and this is unfortunate that we get this. But I do notice that when we're running the emulator, the first couple times that we run the app, we get this error. So it's it's normal. Um, go ahead and just close it and um, reopen the app. And we'll go back in and okay so now we can see that I must have clicked something okay so now we can see it didn't show up that time so let me go ahead and click on watch now Now you can also, um, if you click here um, under options, we want to. Okay, so if you can, you can say other player right here, and close, and then watch now, and it'll allow you then to pick uh, which player you want. Um, so if you want to watch it on uh, something that you can cast, like the all screen, you can do that. Um, or I can just pick the movies um, and when I do that I think I can make the screen bigger so you can get full screen out of this if you want so, so that's how the uh, this is a way that you can watch it on your computer or stream it to a TV um, from a PC instead of having to use a if you like if you're an iPhone person and you don't have an Android device this is a perfect way to um, be able to uh, do it on your PC stream it to your TV and be able to watch uh, different movies um, of course you know you should make sure we're not trying to condone any type of copyright infringement or anything like that if you're gonna watch a movie you should make sure that you already own the movie um, just saying that to be legit so hope you enjoyed this uh, um, video and I hope you found it uh, useful um, if you have questions on this process let me know in the comments and we will uh, go ahead and answer those for you um, also make sure you like and subscribe uh, to our channel uh, thank you very much